who said you cannot cook with microwave? Today, I will show you guys how to cook a super yummy and tasty baked potato with cheese, bacon, and sour cream. And the only thing you need is just one microwave. Are you ready? Let's cook! For me, this is a very good site to cook baked potato in microwave. Can you see? It's not too big and it's not too small either. But before I am going to cook, I will wash and clean the skin of the potato first. Not very difficult. I just use a clean sponge to scrub the skin and remove the dirt because I will serve the whole potato. So let's make sure it's clean. Now my potato is really clean and wet. So I will use the paper tissue to make it dry. Now my potato is dry. So I will rub it with some olive oil. Before that, I take a small knife and make a little slice on each end of the potato. No need to poke to have a lot of holes. Too many holes in the potato can release too much moisture and it's not what we need. Then cover the potato with some olive oil, sunflower oil, vegetable oil, or even just butter. Next, I will put it in a glass bowl because it's safe to cook in a microwave. You can also use a ceramic bowl, but avoid plastic if possible. Now it's time to bake the potato in microwave. Let it cook for about 4 minutes at 900 watts. And don't forget to cover it if you want the skin on the outside not too dry. Yes, it's very easy to cook with the microwave, but trust me, it will be delicious too. Are you usually using your microwave for your cooking? If yes, let me know in the comment what for. Ooh, it's hot. I will not add too much because I don't want it too salty, you know. I will put it back to the bowl to cook it again. Same duration and the temperatures at the first time, 4 minutes and 900 watts. During that time, I will just cook the bacon. I will cook it a bit crispy because this is how I like it. There is a lot of oil, so dry it up with a paper towel. Remove as much oil as I can. And then, just chop it. If you enjoyed the recipe so far, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell. Like that, you will never miss the next ones. Now the potato is looks really good. It's soft now. Ready for the next step, I will remove the potato onto the shopping board. Use a small knife to cut it open. At this point, you can use a towel if it's still too hot. Don't get burnt. I will press both sides to the center of the potato. And now, let's use a spoon and try to dig out the potato. Oh, looks good. Then I will remove it to a bowl. I don't want to break the potato bowl, so I will just roughly remove the meat. You know, I break one already, so I have only two left. <laughs> this is looking good. Try to make it like that. It's time to add some cheese and bacon. I use cheddar cheese, but you can also use mozzarella or any cheese you like. It's yours, so make it the way you love it. Following is sour cream, some black pepper, a little bit of salt, then mix it well. You can add some butter or some milk as well. That sounds great, right? What's important is that there are no big chunks of potato, and we are good. Actually, I have to add green onion, but I forget, so I will start to do it right now. I love green onion, so there is no way I will not add it. Then, mix once again. Now the potato is ready to go back in the potato. <laughs> Refill the potato until it's full, 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 full. Let's make it satisfying to bite, shall we? After I put the filling, I like to press the potato a little bit to make it in shape, you know. This is what it should look like before going to the next step. Is it looking good? I will put the cheese on top like this. And yes, more bacon. Then melt the cheese for about 2 minutes. And ta-da! How gorgeous it is! I'm really happy to cook a different kind of recipe for once. And if you guys enjoy 
and want to see more this kind of recipe often let me know in the comments as always don't forget to subscribe and chop that like button thank you for watching see you next week ขอบคุณค่ะบ๊ายบาย